guys, it's Chase. Welcome back to another Operator Review. I just want to thank you guys for all the support that we've been having on the channel for the past week. It truly means so much to me to see that we're growing at such an alarming rate. Thank you all for being here if you've been subbed for a while, and thank all of you guys for deciding to subscribe to my channel after, you know, this past week. Hopefully we can continue this upward trend, but like I said, I just want to thank you guys so much. I'm honestly waiting till, you know, it calms down a little bit before I make a thank you video. I'm still growing at an alarming rate, and I don't want to make a 15,000 subscriber video, and then next week have to make a 20,000 subscriber video. Also, thank you to all of you guys that have joined the Discord. I love it. I've revamped the whole Discord. Be sure to join down below and do the roll assign so you can, you know, queue up with people on your platform. With all that out of the way, let's get into Zofia's Operator review. So last week I allowed you guys to vote between Zofia and Ash on the Mozzie video and I just want to say that video got tons of views. These operator reviews are actually doing pretty good now and I'm happy to see that. Uh, honestly, you guys really really hate Ash and it's it's funny because Zofia had 115 votes while Ash had 12. Zofia had 103 more votes than Ash. I just think that's absolutely funny because that just shows how much of the community does not like Ash. So this week I will give you guys an undeniable victory for Ash. This vote has to be between Ash and Warden. Yeah, Warden. If if Warden wins, I might delete my YouTube channel. Because let's be honest, the only way to play Warden is not, not play him at all. So let's go ahead and get into it. Zofia is from the GROM, the Grom Polish Tax Force. Her name is Zofia Bosak. Her, her last name's Bosak. I'm sorry to all the Polish viewers out there, but that's the type of last name to get you bullied in middle school. Her background is that she is the daughter of former commander of the Grom Task Force, and she excelled in grueling training in which she learned to withstand pressure and defeat. Yeah, I know, they somehow worked with Stan into that. Her psychological report says that she is quiet, reserved, and arguably sad and struggling with depression over her father's apparent suicide. Zofia is a two-speed, two-armor attacker. Her roles are crowd control and soft breaching. Her gadget is the KS-79 Lifeline, which is a projectile launcher that fires impacts and concussions. She also has the passive ability to withstand when she is down so she can pick herself up back to 1 HP, as well as the ability to be resistant to hers and Ella's concussive mind. Her weapon kit, in my opinion, is really, really good. She has access to the M762, which is an assault rifle that is one of the best in the game. Does tons of damage, has very minimal recoil, and is absolutely great for holding tight angles. I think it works perfectly with the character. Definitely run ACOG on it. It helps you hold those angles even better. The LMGE is her LMG, and it's, it's huge. It feels like you're packing a cannon around, but it certainly hits like a cannon too. A very hard-hitting LMG. Run it if you want. However, I definitely prefer the AR, and I know a lot of the community does too. Her secondary is the RG-15. It's the only secondary that she can have, but it is certainly one of the best in the game. I'm sure, you, I'm sure you've seen clips on YouTube of people just absolutely dominating with this pistol. It also has a red sight, which is nice to get headshots with. Her secondary gadgets are the breaching charge. It's great for destructibility, great for situations when you're entering the building, so you don't want to waste one of her impact grenades, and the claymore. It's great for flank watching. Like I said, Zofia is really good at holding tight angles, and the Claymore can watch her back while she does so. I truly believe both secondary gadgets fit her well. It's up to you to decide what you want. Let's go ahead and look at some of Zofia's strengths. So I think her biggest strength is definitely her gadget. Her gadget gives her so much utility in this game. The impact nades are nice and great for opening up holes or finishing off someone who is down around a corner. However, many people agree that her concussions are where she shines. The concussive blasts will immediately trigger once they are near an enemy. Fire one into a room and if it goes off, there is someone in there. If it doesn't, I'd still drone it out to be safe, but it is highly unlikely someone is in that room, or in the vicinity at least. I think it's absolutely insane that on launch, she had four of these concussive blasts at her disposal. Not only she could, could she do what I just mentioned, but she could burn a whole ADS. Another strength of Zofia's is her weapon kit. Zofia is such a great entry fragger. She feels like she can take so many hits while at the same time putting out so much damage. She plays much slower than Ash, but definitely feels a whole lot tankier than Ash due to the M762 being so great at putting out tons of damage at a steady rate and her being too armor. The RG-15, of course, is also an insanely good pistol. The red dot makes it so easy to get headshots with. It's really a weapon kit for a fragger. 
Also, another strength that I'm going to mention is, of course, the withstand ability. Everyone forgets about withstand. I'm sure even Zofia players sometimes forget they have it. Due to everyone forgetting about it, you can easily get back up and catch an enemy who is coming to finish you off off guard. Not the greatest ability in the world because it's extremely situational, but something I won't complain about as she already has a great kit all around. Also something to mention as a strength is the concussive blast. You know, that's something else I'm not going to complain about. You're resistant to yours and Ella's concussive blast. That's insanely handy. Let's go ahead and look at some of Zofia's weaknesses. So in my opinion, Zofia really has no weaknesses at all. The only argument that could be made for a weakness is you have to be careful with the concussions. You could hit a wall or miss easily and concuss you as well as your whole team. And a defender that's smart likely will take advantage of that. Like I said, definitely a stretch. It's unlikely that this will happen a lot. You could also mention the fact that the impact launcher detonates the grenade immediately as opposed to someone like Ash where the breaching round gives you enough time to pull your weapon up and ADS. Next we're going to be looking at some counters to Zofia and Jaeger ADS and the Wame magnets can easily get rid of her launcher and make it ineffective. So basically what they do is they pull in those grenades or they just completely destroy those grenades. So yeah, it can make her very ineffective. But even without her launcher, she is still a great fragger. So I wouldn't sweat about it too much if you know you use all of your grenades on an ADS or a magnet. A combo that she works well with is Nomad. She's an insanely good flank watch operator. Zofia is an insanely good operator at holding tight angles and entry fragging. Nomad watches the flank for Zofia or her air jab can, so that way you don't have to run a claymore and you can run breaching charges and have a whole lot more destructibility. This is insanely, insanely powerful. I see people do this all the time with Nomad because of how good she is at flank watching, so I definitely use this to your advantage if you're playing with someone who is a Nomad main. Cosmetically, Zofia is actually really interesting in my opinion. I did not expect when I read her psychological report for her to, you know, be quiet and reserved. And I get it, her dad had an apparent suicide and she's sad about that, but I honestly just got hit out by it. I expected her to be really aggressive and, you know, confront people a lot. No, she's very quiet and reserved. Also, her upcoming leak delete actually looks really, really cool and I can see it 100% fitting the character's background. Like I said, she is from a military family. She is a very upstanding, you know, tight soldier. It'll be very interesting to see how the community takes the Elite skin once it's fully revealed. I don't want to post it because obviously, you know, Ubisoft doesn't like big leaks like that coming out. All right, guys, so now we're gonna get into the final rating, and I'm going to be giving Zofia a nine out of 10. And I know that I said she has no true blaring weakness, but I still think she's a nine out of 10 and not a 10 out of 10, because when I first started this series, I said that a 10 out of 10 would literally be release Blackbeard or release Ella. And as of right now, Zofia is absolutely nowhere near that. You know, Blackbeard had the shield, made him overpowered. It was just ridiculous. And then Ella literally dominated the game for those couple months that she was first released. She was not being able to be killed by anyone because that Scorpion Evo had so much ammo, so much damage, and absolutely no recoil. Zofia is a character that anyone can really pick up and do well with. With. If you enjoy fragging, you will definitely excel with this operator and you will find her to be tons of fun. Maybe not so much if you like playing support or anything else. Many people like to compare her to Ash, so if you really love playing Ash but want a more slower operator who you feel like can take a more a little bit more hits, definitely try out Zofia. She's really, really fun to play and you honestly feel like you're unstoppable when you go on tears with her. Fun fact, I've actually never gotten a Zofia ace. I know, I have like 20 Zofia 4Ks. Some of them aren't clipped and that really made me sad because I've been sweating all week to get Zofia clips. But no matter how many 4Ks I can get, I can never get a Zofia Ace. Zofia just has so much utility for an entry fragger and I love her whole kit 
and how it represents fragging. It has the fragging that, you know, a low skill player can take advantage of, but also the utility that a high skill player or a high ranked player can definitely take advantage of and use to its fullest potential. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and turn post notifications on so you don't miss a video. I post Rainbow Six Siege content all the time. Once again, I just want to thank all of you guys for the amount of support that we've been receiving lately. Just absolutely insane that we are growing this fast. I can't fathom it. Also, be sure to join the Discord down below with the link in the description. There are tons of people on every single platform willing to play with you guys right now. Also, don't forget to comment down below who you want next week, Warden or Ash. With all that out of the way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Peace. Thank you.